the shrimp or stomatopod is a small, aggressive marine crustacean that inhabit tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans between Eastern Africa and Hawaii. They are very vibrant in color and contain a very hard outer layer which serves as protection from any other creatures. Mantis shrimp usually tend to be around 10 to 12 centimeters long, or about 4 inches long. But despite their tiny size, they have a very special and unique feature that makes them one of the deadliest creatures in the ocean by punching their prey with the power of a bullet, or for some species, spike them with their incredibly sharp claws. In this presentation, I'll go over many of the unique and fascinating qualities of this ocean creature and give you a good understanding on what it is. Mantis shrimp are one of the most colorful creatures in the ocean, with a great variety of bright colors making up their hard outer layer. With all these vibrant colors, they are given an advantage of camouflage within one of their main habitats, the coral reef. The mantis shrimp's colors on its body also serve as a defense mechanism, which basically tells any predators that, you don't want to mess with me. But one of the main reasons that many creatures want to keep their distance from the mantis shrimp is due to their extremely strong raptorial appendages, or s thumb splitters. These are the small but powerful forearms on the front of their body that are used to break through the tough shells of their prey to get to the soft part for food. The, the thumb splitters can pack a very strong and harming punch, equivalent to the force of a .22 caliber bullet fired from a gun. Instead of having big biceps like one might assume, their arms are naturally spring-loaded, which allows them to swing their clubs at an incredible speed of 23 meters per second. With these strong forearms, they are able to keep themselves safe from possible predators, and giving them advantage over many unfortunate creatures that will find themselves to be the mantis shrimp's dinner. We're all living a new normal. If you are currently facing financial burdens, call your state. Despite being only six inches long, pound for pound, he packs the biggest punch in the natural world. This is the peacock mantis shrimp. He's actually neither a shrimp nor a mantis, but stomatopod just doesn't have the same ring to it. This guy's biggest problem right now is real estate. There are more shrimps here than there are crannies for them to claim. In a hot market, you have to move fast. All that activity works up an appetite. Time to bring out the big guns. He's armed with the most sophisticated vision of any predator on Earth and the fastest strike. His eyes work independently and together to better target his prey. These eyes detect more colors than any creature on Earth and see polarized light. He closes in on his target. Mantis unloads the ace up his sleeve. Hammer claws. His spring-loaded clubs strike 50 times faster than we can blink.
For a moment, the surrounding water reaches the temperature of the surface of the sun. You heard that right. This crab is toast. The most common type of mantis shrimp is a smasher, which is the kind that has the extremely powerful thumb splitters on the side of their body. These smasher mantis shrimp tend to live in coral, burrows, shallow shorelines, and even in rocky crevices. With their colorful body, they are able to blend into the coral, providing a safe habitat for them. They are the much more common type of mantis shrimp found throughout the ocean, but it doesn't mean they are the only. There is actually a second kind, which is a spear mantis shrimp. These mantis shrimp are marine crustaceans similar to the smashers, but are in fact quite different. Smasher mantis shrimp tend to grow to be around 10 centimeters long, but spear mantis shrimp can grow to be as long as 38 centimeters. While the smasher mantis shrimp is known for its incredibly powerful thumb splitters, the spear mantis shrimp actually have a different type of thumb appendages. They are actually these two very long, sharp, and powerful spears that are used to stab their prey and serve as self-defense. They also contain built-in spring-loaded muscles in their arms, similar to the smashers that send a powerful force upon their enemy. The spear stomatopods use a sharp, spiny, and barbed dactyle to stab soft-bodied creatures for food. To attack, they lunge out their spears into the target to penetrate their skin and kill it. The spear mantis shrimp are commonly found living within burrows in order to be unseen then quickly lunge out to attack their unsuspecting prey. Within the ranks of the smasher and spear mantis shrimp, there are many different species. All of these different species share some similarities and have some differences. The most common species of mantis shrimp is the peacock mantis shrimp. This species is a very colorful and is a smasher type. They tend to live in warm waters within coral reefs. Another type of mantis shrimp is the zebra mantis shrimp. The zebra mantis shrimp are spearers and tend to live in burrows on the ground. When unsuspecting prey come close to the burrow, they lunge out to stab them for lunch. These mantis shrimp are not as colorful as the ma peacock mantis shrimp, but have black and white stripes, similar to the actual zebras, giving them their name. The squilla mantis shrimp is similar to the zebra, as they are in fact large spears with less vibrant colors. These mantis shrimp live in warm waters on shallow coastlines in the sand. Due to their sandy coloring, they are provided good camouflage and protection from predators. These three kinds of mantis shrimp are all unique in their own way, but are not the only species of mantis shrimp, as there are over 400 different species. These different species have their similarities and differences, but are still mantis shrimp nonetheless. Mantis shrimp have many unique characteristics and features that are not found within any other ocean creatures. The mantis shrimp have two interesting eyes which sit upon stalks that give them the ability to see circularly polarized light. They are the only animals known to see light like this, showing how unique they are in the animal kingdom. They are also equipped with a hard outer shell, which is a great line of defense against predators. And of course, to fight back or attack prey, they use their thumb appendages to smash through the tough shell of animals like crabs and clam to eat the soft inner part of the creature. They are very well equipped to live in the ocean with all the dangers down there where they live. Mantis shrimp reproduce via internal fertilization requiring a female and a male to reproduce. The male is always more colorful than the female, which is used by the male in an attempt to impress a female to mate. Once a mantis shrimp finds their mate, they usually stay with them for the rest of their lives. Like many relationships, the female is in charge of taking care of the babies until they are born, while the male takes care of the hunting to provide for his new family. 
The male will leave their home for about a week and attempt to find a good supply of food before returning home. It usually takes about 35 to 70 days for the babies to become sexually mature from when they hatch. Once the babies hatch, they are taken care of by the parents for a few months, then sent off to live on their own to mate and reproduce. Due to their incredibly strong raptorial appendages, the mantis shrimp are known as a violent predator to those around them. There are not many creatures that are able to kill and eat the mantis shrimp if they really want to, leaving the mantis shrimp to be a top predator of some. Some of the main foods that mantis shrimp enjoy to hunt and eat are fish, crab, clam, worms, and shrimp, sometimes including their own species. The spear and mantis shrimp tend to hide in the burrow until a fish passes by to then strike them and kill them, while the smashers love to break open the hard shells of many to get the soft inside to then eat. There is hardly anything these cre creatures can do to protect themselves, making them an easy target for the mantis shrimp. shrimp come in two varieties. There are spearers and smashers. And this is a spearing mantis shrimp or stomatopod. And he lives in the sand and he catches things that um, go by overhead. So um, a, quick, a quick strike like that. And if we slow it down a little bit, this is the mantis shrimp, the same species, uh, recorded at 1,000 frames per second, played back at 15 frames per second. And you can see it's just a really spectacular extension of the limbs, um, exploding upward to actually just catch a dead piece of shrimp that I had, had offered it. Now the other type of mantis shrimp is the smasher stomatopod. And these guys open up snails for a living. And so this guy gets the snail all set up and gives it a good whack. So um, I'll play it one more time. He wiggles it in place, touches it with his nose, um, and smash. And a few smashes later, the, um, the snail is, is broken open and he's got a good dinner. So the smasher raptorial appendage um, can stab with the point at the end or it can smash with the heel. And today I'll talk about the smashing type of strike. And so the first question that came to mind was, well, how fast does this limb move? Because it's moving pretty darn fast in that video. And I immediately came upon a problem. Every single high speed video system in the biology department at Berkeley wasn't fast enough to catch this movement. We simply couldn't capture it on video. And so this had me stymied for quite a long period of time. And then a BBC crew came cruising through the biology department looking for a story um, to do about new technologies in biology. And so we struck up a deal. I said, well, if you guys rent the high-speed video system that could capture these movements, you guys can film us um, collecting the data. And believe it or not, they went for it. <laughs> so we got this incredible video system. It's, it's very new technology. It just came out about a year ago that allows you to film at extremely high speeds in low light. And low light is the critical issue with filming animals, because if it's too high, you fry them. So this is a, um, <laughs> this is a mantis shrimp. There are the, the eyes up here. And there's that raptorial appendage. And there's the heel. And that thing's going to swing around and smash the snail. And the snail's wired to a stick, so it's, easy, it's a little bit easier to set up the shot. And yeah. <laughs> I hope there aren't any snail rights activists around here. <laughs> so this, this was filmed at 5,000 frames per second, and um, I'm playing it back at 15. And so this slowed down 333 times. And as you'll notice, it's still pretty gosh darn fast. It slowed down 333 times. It's an incredibly powerful movement. The whole limb extends out. The body flexes backwards. Just a spectacular movement. With their many unique and helpful features the mantis shrimp have, they are able to live a pretty simple and easy life. They don't have to constantly worry about too many predators trying to eat them due to their camouflage, as well as their raptorial appendages being a great way to fight back. They tend to go hunting for prey for the majority of the day and come back home to serve the rest of their family. The mantis shrimp go, on, go through this daily routine 
from when they first leave their parents until the end of their lifespan, which is usually around six years. With their incredibly powerful raptorial appendages and colorful body, they are definitely one of the most fascinating creatures in the ocean. Luckily, not many people want to keep a mantis shrimp captive due to the dangers of it, leaving a great population of mantis shrimp leaving free in the ocean. And please remember, try to keep your distance from them, as if you ever encounter one, they could pack quite a hurting punch.